Well, it's uh, Wednesday, hump day, and it's been fairly productive for me. Started off uh, looking okay. I went out and uh, got the bus uh, to Smithfield, and there was a bit of sun around and what have you, but uh, it also spat a little bit, and it just got progressively worse. Uh, one thing I, I noticed about the, uh, the bus driver, he, came, he went down to uh, the next stop, and he saw that there were about three people standing on the opposite side uh, because that was near the end of the bus route where they were standing. And he yelled out to them and said, where are you going? You go, are you going to Cairns? And they were, they're going in that direction. So he told them uh, that uh, they needed to, to get on his bus because uh, they didn't realise that, uh, that the, the bus stop that they were standing on would only have taken them to the end of the route in Kawara Beach and there wouldn't be another bus through for another uh, 25 minutes. So that was very nice of him to actually um, uh, alert them to the fact that they, uh, they were on the wrong side of the road and, uh, and he was the bus that was going to take them where they wanted to go. So that's sort of part of that personalised service that you get here that you don't get in a big city like Melbourne. It just doesn't exist. And you get it even more in Kawara Beach as opposed to Trinity because this is the end of the line. And so um, bus drivers will cut you more slack because this is, this, there's hardly anyone actually uh, who travels along here. As a matter of fact, I get to almost resent it, I think. You know, I'm an only child and I think, well, it is my beach, no one else's beach, and how dare someone else get on my bus for that last leg. Um, yeah, well, that's, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'd say majority of time I've actually travelled back by myself. It's been my own personal bus. So, um, you know, that's how little the traffic there is from, um, from Trinity to Kawara Beach. It's just basically an add-on to the service. In any case, the bus uh, headed off to Smithfield. What I was surprised at was how many people did get on board. It wasn't just in Kawara, there was a stack of people got on at the post office at uh, Trinity, which is normally a busy stop because it's a, uh, that's where the shops are. And then the other one, of course, is Trinity Beach Stop itself, and a lot of people got on there. Uh, oh, probably about a dozen, which is, you know, for that time of day, early, uh, sort of late morning is really unusual. And uh, we didn't get so many people getting on in the actual suburb itself, so I think it was more people who, that were came, that have come to Cairns as visitors as a, and holiday makers as opposed to locals that were on the bus. So we got to, to Smithfield and I had this brilliant plan of actually walking under the bridge that went uh, under the, under the, uh, the uh, Cook Highway. Uh, the, then I realised that there were no connecting streets taking me down that direction towards where, uh, but where um, Bunnings is. So it was useless getting, getting off there. So what I did was walk down the normal way. I'd walk down Smithfield Shopping Centre, the inside of it. Then I, kept, then I went outside after just visiting the Combank, getting some dough. And, uh, and then I had to cross the road there. And uh, it did take a little bit of time. There's quite a bit of heavy traffic on the, on the Cook Highway. Um, and, uh, and I did get across to the other side. Then I found out that I had to um, then walk um, uh, across another uh, divided road to actually get to Bunnings itself. It really is pedestrian unfriendly. It's just it's incredible that, that, there, there, that no pedestrian bridge has been um, built over the, uh, the, the highway, especially there where there's so many commercial properties. I personally believe that Bunnings is losing a few customers out of this because, you know, it's a minority for sure. I mean, most people have got cars, but there'd be, a, there'd be a percentage like myself that wouldn't be going there to be put off. It's the first time I've tried it. I got across. Uh, the weather was a bit inclement, but I, it, it, luckily it didn't really piss down rain. So I got to Bunnings itself and I did find the items I wanted and uh, at the price that was advertised, I got a, a, a pruning saw that uh, only cost me five bucks. And, um, and I got uh, two packs of the Thrive, uh, uh, Yates Thrive, which is a, a fertilizer. There was two varieties, one which is an all purpose one, which would be okay for the veggies um, and most plants. The other one is specifically for flowers and fruit. 
So I bought two lots and they were $7.30 each, so uh, compared to $10 that you'll pay at the supermarket. And they're only in fairly small packs. There's only 500 uh, uh, mils, the actual size of it. So, uh, yeah, it wasn't particularly, it wasn't heavy or bulky, so it's quite easy to take. And then I went on, I went back and it did look very threatening weather-wise, but luckily I was able to get across the... Uh, the main road before it really came down and it did actually bucket down a little later when I was actually in the uh, supermarket. So that was very fortuitous, the, the timing actually worked out very well. It's quite a dull overcast day and you know this is supposed to be the dry season when you're supposed to have cloudless skies, well so much for that theory. Um, so anyway, I got all my business done and um, oh, when I got to the bus stop, I freaked out because I thought I must have left my pruning saw somewhere. You know, it's one of those sort of items you could easily just drop off. Uh, but I hadn't. I actually had put it in my main bag. And so I did, it was a, a very successful shopping excursion. And um, the bus actually turned up on time to take me back. And... Um, and yeah, so it worked out fairly well overall. And when I actually got home, I actually discovered that the seeds had finally arrived. They were just in a normal envelope, they were quite, quite compact. And they'd actually um, packed them using a, uh, a Coles catalogue that they'd, they'd covered, they'd crossed over it several times to provide a bit of protection for the seeds. Because there were six packs of seeds in, in clear plastic bags, just little ones, you know, sealable little plastic bags. And, uh, and one of those had 500 seeds, that's for the flowers. So, um, you know, I'm put pretty well all set now for the gardening. It's just unfortunately today it's actually drizzling and very overcast and pretty ordinary. Oh, the other thing that also arrived today um, was um, my um, uh, new leather sandals from uh, Spendless in, in Adelaide. I don't know how these people get uh, stuff to me so quickly. It must be airmail or something, but... It's so much faster than, than Australia Post. Australia Post is a joke. I mean, this is, this is incredible. The, uh, the seeds took longer than they were supposed to by three days. So that was tardy. But the, the spendless, obviously, they were using their own courier. And they actually dropped it off uh, under the, the shoes just under my welcome mat. I did, they must have knocked on the door, but I didn't hear it. But uh, I picked them up before I actually were headed off to the shops and put them inside. So that's great, you know, it's all worked out rather well today. Uh, I finally got sick of trying to contact um, Harvey Norman because I wanted to buy the new, uh, uh, the DJI uh, uh, two screen action uh, camera. And uh, cause that, they've definitely got the lowest price, $2.99. I could have got it delivered, but it would have cost me about $12.50 extra to have the delivery up here. So what I decided to do was just collect it in house when they've got stock, but they've got none there at the moment. So presumably they'll shuffle it out from one of their warehouses down south. And, um, and hopefully I'll be able to pick it up in a couple of business days. So either Friday, which probably won't be good because the tree lopper will be here, or uh, early next week. So that'll be good because then I won't have to worry about doing voiceover videos like this. But um, I thought I'd at least shoot some footage down at Smithfield to show you what a lousy day it was and, and how much is involved in just going across the Bunnings. It's crazy. So oh, the other thing about the, this, this new action camera that is really good is it's got two screens. So it's got one on the front as well. So I can actually see myself doing um, selfie type uh, videos so I can get myself framed properly. And the one on the back is much bigger and in color. So it's just so much better for, for someone with crap eyesight like me. It's just gonna be a, a revelation. The, the new GoPro 9 has things like 5K, but who needs 5K for God's sake? I didn't even use 4K, so why would I want 5K? And you gotta pay for it. So, for 299 bucks, I reckon that's a real bargain. So I ended up paying for it. I bought it online with my credit card and uh, hopefully I'll be, uh, I'll be able to pick it up fairly soon. So that's, like I say, it's been a very good day. Got a lot of things done and, um, and hopefully uh, other stuff that I've ordered online will show up at a reasonable time as well. Uh, the next thing I've really got to do with the garden is get some... Uh, 
uh, some containers for the, the planter containers to put uh, the soil into uh, because I'm, I've now got the seeds. I've got a few pots and, and uh, pot that I can actually plant the seeds into now. Uh, but I'd like to really get the uh, get rid of the grass along the side there and put in those planter boxes all along the, the fence line. That'd be fantastic. Anyway, you can only do one thing at a time. So uh, just sort of get this video out to you, keep you updated because I've been fairly tardy with the updates. And as usual, please uh, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, comments are always appreciated. And uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Have a great day.